Just got 98 archaeology of these Bandos artifacts and I'm actually going to turn these in for tetra compasses for some experience books, a lot of materials and all the good stuff that you can get from those. But at 98 now, I can actually get the crest framework thing, which is super good for Iron Man. Basically offering this to the monolith, um, when converting memories, memories at the rift, you will convert your entire backpack in one go. That is going to basically speed up my divine charges by double the speed. So that is super nice. I'm not sure really how to get it, but shouldn't be that bad, I guess. So many chrono notes about to be gained. 5.7k actually every turn in, and I get four of them. So, 23,000. I actually thought that would be... wait. Oh yeah, of course, that's only one tetra compass. I have to get two more for these pieces as well, so... Guess I'm getting two of each artifact again. It did actually take some time to be able to get this, but uh, I have all the things I need now to make the golem framework, so I'm going to do that real quick. And I get 10,000 invention experience as well. And all I have to do now to actually get the crest framework uh, relic is just go into a cache and click on a large memory, and I should have it. But that's the divine conversion relic unlocked, and I will be using that probably quite a lot on my Iron Man. It's very nice to have it, it's something I always wanted to have since I saw it in the beginning. And uh, now we also have two tetra compasses, I will charge them and uh, let's hopefully get two tomes from both of these, so we get four in total. They're like 42,000 experience per one. Did not mean to, but I accidentally opened one of the caskets and only got one tome from that one, but let's see what the second one is. It is two tomes, perfect. Actually, onyx dust? Uh, not sure how common that is. Elite clue scroll as well, some crystal keys. Some good stuff overall. I don't know about these uh, artifacts, they seem decent, but uh, I'll take the two books. 43k experience from each book, so that was like, what, 140,000 experience, something like that? I am using the relic now because I do want to get some more energy to be able to make more porters for the last 900,000 experience I have to get to 99. So uh, let's see how this is actually going to look now. I'm at 500 energies, if I just click one time, 700 already so uh, you skip basically the whole time of just putting them into the wall so uh, it's going to speed up the process by quite a lot unfortunately this clip actually got really corrupted and the sound got super weird as well you can see in the background the uh, clip is lagging quite a lot but uh, i did get 99 archaeology by doing some pashas or whatever they're called that i had in the bank and uh, the skill cape is actually really good, I realized. It uh, lets you change the relics at a bank, and also something about the sprite being better or something. So let's buy the skill cape, and another 99 done that's really slow. Feels really good, to be honest. Archaeology was uh, pretty slow to get to 99. But of course you can get it all the way to 120 as well. But uh, there is the skill cape and it says that it pro provides extra sprite focus and the ability to modify relic powers at the bank. And uh, I'm going to go to a bank and show you guys what that looks like in this clip. But uh, yeah, that basically means if you have the magic cape and the archaeology cape you can change both uh, to ancient or normals or whatever at the bank. And you can also change all your relic powers. So this is how it looks like, just the normal monolith interface. With only 4 skills left to get to 99 for maxing, I will start doing some aggression potions at Turoth for farming experience. Of course I am doing my player owned farm runs, but uh, that is not enough to get 99 super fast. So I'm going to be doing this now and then between doing other things. So if you see the farming experience counter on the top right go up, this is what I'm doing. If you're not aware of what I'm doing, I basically just aggression potion on the Turoths and I have a CD side and uh, I just basically cleave down these and they drop seeds that my CD side turns into farming experience. You can see that on the top right, got 86 there. I think I'm getting like 120,000 experience an hour doing this, something like that, maybe 100k, so it's not too bad. Something I actually have never been doing is something I should have been doing a very long time ago is I'm buying supplies from the mass cap raid shop and these potions actually supply or they restock one every two minutes. So I've been buying one of each potion for every two minutes for not a very long time and I already have already had 20 of these I guess but look I have 19 and I have 28 restores 20 of these and that's going to be so good for making overloads and I do want to get into a lot of PVMing pretty soon on this account because when I max that is going to be my next endeavor and I'm just going to, going to do some fletching here you can see in my inventory I'm just uh, making some headless arrows and stuff like that meanwhile buying these and I actually actually don't really have many more logs to make more headless arrows but uh, 
Gotta get a bit closer to that 99 fletching at least. Look at this. I finished fletching all the uh, broad arrows and look at my potions. Th doing this is so good meanwhile doing other things at the bank. I should just always do this when I'm doing bank stuff. Hey, yeah, it happens again. Look at that. I'm AFKing some stuff and I get a pet. Look at that. Herbert, the Herblore pet, or Herbert, maybe you pronounce that. But uh, yeah, let's uh, learn the pet and. Uh, yeah, I don't- I, I think I know how it looks already. It's not that interesting, to be honest. I'm going to have to buy even more potions at the uh, mass cap store. You can see it requires a lot of these for those super attack, strength, defense, range, magic potions. But uh, finally, I can actually make a decent amount of supreme overload potions. I think I have 80 overloads in my bank. And one of these gives 720 experience. And if you're wondering how much better these are than normal overloads, well, instead of plus 17, they give 19. And then if I get these, and I get some higher farming level and get some primal extracts, I have a lot of fell stocks in the bank already, I can actually turn this into an elder overload that is plus 21. So uh, regardless, I will need a lot of these. Making these is not a waste if I do want to make the elders in the future, because these are required to make the elders. Man, I'm doing some farm runs on my player-owned farm and I have a really hard time actually selling this pet even though it's an elder pet because it's called Lily. I'm, I'm probably just going to keep it because my in real life bunny that's uh, actually chilling right behind me right now is uh, called Lily. So I'm not sure crazy. Okay, I'm selling you. You're crazy. Fred as well. I think I'm selling all these but uh, Lily I have a hard time selling. Yesterday night I actually got a pork pie and boosted 5 farming levels which was just enough to plant a chiku tree and it was the only one chiku tree seed I had but uh, it is actually pretty massive that I could plant this because this is a way to get primal extracts. Normally you have to get a very high farming level, you can do it with dragon fruits but getting dragon fruit seeds is very hard. And um, Chiku tree was the only seed I basically already had. Avocado I also didn't have. But um, after that, it, you can make mangoes, but that's for 105. And Gurana tree, I guess that's the same. Also the Lich one and Carambola, but they are very high level. But when this actually grows fully, which uh, it should be very soon, I think, in like an hour, then I can actually make Primal Extract, which means... I will be able to get some Elder Overloads. Now of course to be able to make the Elder Overloads I have to have 106 Herblore, which I do not have, but if I'm at 101 I can boost with Spices Stew to be able to make them. But um, something I also want to do with my Primal Extracts is actually make Weapon Poison plus plus plus, I think that's three pluses. And um, first I have to make some plus plus and I am picking up these cave nightshades in one of these uh, scavid dungeons. It's very easy with the gloves and uh, planting these for Belladon through belladonna seeds takes like literally 10 billion years. So picking them up like this is super fast and uh, then after that when I get those primal extracts, the first batch of them pretty much, I am going to uh, make the weapon poison plus 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 instead of the elder overloads and I'll make those in the future. So as you can see here, I have a decent amount of Weapon Poison++ plus plus unfinished. Just gotta get some Poison IV berries that I've planted already. And I've made 12 from the first batch. And when I do get a Primal Extract, these are going to be plus plus pluses. And I can use that for the Arc Glazer on hard mode. Unfortunately, I can't use them on Raksha because he is Poison Immune. But for that, I have these now. 62 Supreme Overload Potions. And I actually still have 26 Overloads, but... I just have to uh, casually keep buying some potions now and then, and also 177 super stores. Basically most of it from the store, so uh, very nice that I found out that you could do that. Should have done it earlier. Dude, if I get a drop on this mega scuffed kill, okay, good thing. 8 minute kill, so uh, <laughs> the reason why my kill on Raksha now was super scuffed, by the way I've done like 4 kills or something already, so it's not the first kill, this is the drops I've got, it's because I'm trying some different things, I know that using uh, the insight or smoke cloud ability is a DPS increase, but um, I feel like I have to have like a staff switch or for that or something, because I tried to apply it to the boss like 5 times before it actually got applied, and and without the Grimoire for the extra crit chance, I'm not sure how worth it is. Also tried uh, Vulnerability with uh, normal spellbook for 10% more damage. 
But I feel like I need a staff for that as well because I'm splashing it so much with this gear. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or I'm for sure doing it wrong because I am splashing all the time. Probably just going to go back to doing it the normal way. So yeah, if I don't screw around that much, I guess I get like 6 minute kills, which is by no means super fast, but it's good enough for me. Nice, 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 a record by 24 seconds, almost down to that 5 minute mark. No fucking way, no fucking way, dude! There is no fucking- Okay, wait, 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 Raksh, oh my god, that actually happened. That actually happened, 91 KC! Guys, this is worth over one and a half billion. Okay, it says 1.3, but I saw a trade for 1.6 billion. Holy- Dude, I just unlocked ranged. I literally just unlocked ranged. Uh, oh my- I'm learning this right now. Uh, great ricochet, basically what I have been trying to get since I started Raksha. Let's unlock that ability. Oh my god, look at that ability. Oh, I have to move this around now, I feel like. I feel like this one is the perfect spot off the needle strike. And like this. Oh my, that's insane. So I've actually already finished the video, but I want to record this and put this into the video. Because I just remembered that I made a post on my YouTube channel community page. Asking at what KC do you guys think I'll get the next codex drop? Most people thought 100 to 250 KC, 33%. Only 10%! actually guessed right, which was below 100 KC. Okay, I have to try this now. I'm not sure if I can use it on these dummies here, but uh, I'm just going to attack it normally without toggling anything. So let's try the Great Ricochet. And that hits three times on the main target, I think. Actually, let me just uh, dismiss my familiar. First, I'll just Needle Strike for the bonus damage, I guess, and use this. And wait for the Aftershock, and let's use that. 1.7k, 2.9k, 1.4k, but if it is on one target, then I think it does more damage. Also, wait, I have to change my uh, my things now, my weapon. They weren't even that good anyway, so I have to get the caroming thing, I think, which uh, makes it proc two more times, I think. I made an attempt at precise 6 aftershock 1, and I only got precise 6, so getting the components back for another attempt on that will be a bit difficult, I have to get 7 armadillo components, but uh, for the Chroming Equilibrium 2 one, which I need on the offhand, I actually have to kill Greg Rovic by quite a bit actually, because uh, I need to get a drop from this, and I think, let me actually check real quick, uh, how many of the components that I will need for this and it's a 29% chance and I have to get oof, Actually, how many is this six of the components and I already have two So I guess I only have to get one drop and then level it to level 12 and then disassemble it there or maybe it's nine for maximum components But uh, I guess we're doing some Gregorovic trying to get uh, a drop there now before that though, you actually need a 2500 Sliske reputation before you can even use the shadow components. You can see they are greyed out right now. But I have these seals, I don't think they will be enough. But uh, I guess if I add some of them, I'm at 2.3k. I don't even remember how you do this. This has uh, been a while since I did this. I guess I just used them on him. And let's do hand in all seals. And my reputation is now over 2.5k, so perfect. Uh, I should be able to... Okay, so there you see. You can now discover the blueprint for shadow components in at least 89 inventions. So we're also at, I think, 50% drop rate increase. Yes, so it's not terrible. And of course, Gregorovic can be poisoned, so I can use my Cinder Banes here. And I'm going to get the plus 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 poisons right now, eating a pork pie real quick. Shake the health, get 22,000 experience. And also with my green finger, hopefully get some procs here. Oh no, I have to get another one. Brought two this time, that boost literally lasted like a second, so let's uh, be quick this time as well. And uh, let's see, we got a total of, how many is this? Seven Chikus, and if I crush them, I should get this Primal Fruit Pulp. And uh, you get a decent amount of them, four per one. And if I boost to 102 herb lore, I should get two primal extracts from each one of these. So this is essentially like 56 primal extracts. Got the boost way above as well, a 105, so let's make... Oh wait, actually, yeah, I should only bring 14, I guess. So let's do that, because it's going to make two every time. So let's see this now. It's only making one? Oh, maybe you can't boost it. I guess you can't boost it, because it is supposed to be giving me two every time. But, uh, well, I guess it's still decent to get 28 of these. 
So beautiful, this is why I've been doing uh, frogs, by the way, in my player on farm as well, for the poison slime, I have a lot of them now. So let's make the best weapon poisons. I actually felt like they were kind of out of reach for me for a while, but uh, definitely just solved the issue and now I have them. And these actually last a very long time, because they last 12 minutes per sip, so basically double the length of an overload, so I don't have to get too many of them. Pretty sure doing this with range is a very bad idea. I think most people do it with melee, but uh, I want to show you guys this. Look at the poison damage. It's just insane. Like, it's taking very often, and it's also taking like over a thousand every time, or around a thousand. Like 1k, 800 there, almost 2000 instant damage. And uh, the reason why I'm probably going to still do it with range though is because my gear for range is just way better. But um, yeah, pretty insane this poison damage, I have to say. It's going to help a lot on uh, bosses like the Arc Glazer that actually can be poisoned. And there we go. How many kills did that take? Actually, not all too many. That is the hard mode. I did not mean to do that. Let's do normal mode. And I have done 65 and I think I started with 5. So 60 exactly for the offhand Shadow Glaive. Uh, the, the question is, this is actually a pretty good switch, I think, for planted feet. Should I remove the- should I keep this? I don't know. I guess I'll do a bit more, but if I go to 100 and I don't have another drop, then uh, I guess I'm just going to use this one. Actually, let's just go for it now because I'm probably going to get a tier 80 defender ranged one that I'm going to put planted feet on in the future anyway, so let's just augment this one. And now we just have to level this to level 9, and then we have a 30% chance with the material I have to get the best perk. So I'm just doing some ED3 farming for my weapon, and uh, I get the Dungeoneering pet. So two pets in one video. I actually have no idea how this looks. Oh, actually, I do know how this looks now that I saw the icon. Actually, I didn't uh, show either the Herblore or the um, the Dungeoneering pet, so might as well do it now. This is the Herblore one, nice uh, Bulbasaur right there. And then, uh, where is the... I don't even remember what it was called. I guess it was called, like, Archie, maybe? No, that's not the one. I don't even remember what it was called. It was called um, Gordy. Okay, so where do we have Gordy? Is it on the top? There we go. Okay, that's the one. So, uh, yeah, actually a pretty nice pet, I would say. Let's make an attempt here. First, uh, we have to disassemble the level 9 Shadow Glaive. That took uh, not that long to get, I guess, so let's just disassemble it for 4 Shadow Components and 400,000 Invention Experience as well. So uh, let's now go in here and we have to put this... Oh yeah, right, I haven't discovered it yet. Give me one sec. <laughs> now I have discovered it and 30% chance of getting this. Please, I do not want to go back to Gregorovic. Come on. 30% chance, I don't want to have to go back, please. No, are you kidding? Equilibrium 2, a ruthless 1, it's not even chroming. This is a disaster. Well, I really have to get chroming, so I guess I had to do some bounties and got the reputation to 75% higher drop rates now. And uh, I'm going to get back to grinding Gregorovic for even more items, more shadow components, but that is going to do it for this video. So happy with Gricko, all the good stuff in this video, two pets as well. But uh, I will see you in the next one, guys, when I hopefully get Chroming 4. Have a good one, take care.